Hi guys, so in this video I will show you how you can configure the telegram bot and use that uh, in your Jenkins pipeline so every time when your view is success or fail then you will, will get a notification uh, with the bot so let's get started so the first thing you need to do is go to the search bar here and search for bot father and this is the one so yeah you can uh, to create a new bot click on the uh, you type uh, forward slash new bot okay and then uh, we give it a name so it can be any name so Jenkins you are okay so now it has a name then you can uh, give it an ID right the username so um, the name must be unique, so Jenkin. You, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's uh, think of a unique name. Oh, something like that. Hopefully, it's unique. Okay, so we have the the bot here. So now I will. Uh, this is the the bot ID. So I will copy this. Okay, and then uh, this uh, we will use a CRL to call in uh, the Jenkins pipeline. The first thing you need to do is to send a message to this bot. So go here, okay, and click uh, start. And now uh, try to send something because we need to get the this chat ID with uh, this bot. The command you need to run is this uh, so zero to this zero and replace uh, this bot id with the new bot id here so i oh, make sure to re also replace the, the dollar sign here then i will uh, run it in my terminal so let's open the terminal and paste the command here So it seems uh, we have a blank result here. So in case uh, like this, you just need to send another message in Telegram to get the chat ID. Hi. And then, okay. So it seems uh, the message uh, you need to send it and query like right away. So you see that the message ID here, but this is not what we need. We need this chat ID, okay? So this is the chat ID. Uh, this chat ID, and then uh, this is the the serial we use to send the message in Jenkins. So another serial post. So let's replace this chat ID with chat ID, and uh, replace the bot ID with bot id here okay so let's try this uh, in our terminal okay so go back to the bot and you see that the message is here okay so let's add this to uh, our jenkins pipeline so let's open the jenkins files of this project in this Jenkins pipeline, we see that we have uh, all the normal uh, normal stages here. So I have uh, something like Maven test, Maven view, and uh, finally you have the post section here. So this is always run regardless of uh, your build success or fail. So this is the command we want to run on build success, and this is the command uh, we need to run on uh, command failure so I copy this because uh, it needs some uh, escape let's go back to our uh, text editor here so so this is the text message this is the chat ID I need to okay the chat ID doesn't change but uh, the bot 
bot ID has changed. Okay, so I need to update this uh, bot ID. Let's make sure you replace uh, correctly. Okay, so this is the SH. You need to copy exactly like this and make sure to escape the single quote here at the uh, minus e which is data send and we have chat id text and this uh, disable notification i would like to set it to false because uh, i want to get the notification uh, right away so if it is a, a fail view then uh, i want to go to the public uh, immediately to see the issue and this is the error so I will uh, paste this in the in the description so you don't miss uh, this escape. So let's paste this in the pipeline. So uh, yeah. So this is for success, right? And also, oh, this is another command for fail because I'm using a different bot. So I need to replace uh, the bot ID. But it's in the chat ID, it doesn't change. So we don't need to replace the chat ID. Chat ID is here, okay. So copy this. And then uh, paste in the failure. So now uh, I can test the view. Okay. So I will commit and push. And go to Jenkins to monitor the pipeline. All right, it seems our view is running. So, yeah, let's check our part. You see that uh, this is the notification just now, okay? So the success, uh, the success path uh, is done. So let's try to emulate a fail view. So let's uh, go to this. I will uh, create a fail test here. So I would uh, insert a character here. So let's commit and push this. I go back to the pipeline again to see the to monitor the build. Let's try. Okay. Five seconds ago should should fail, right? Yeah, the test should fail. Because yeah, then you see that. I have the notification that the view has failed. So that's this guy. That is how you can integrate the, a Telegram bot to your Jenkins pipeline to get the notification on success or failed view. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.